what's up? Yeah, <laughs> that didn't work out good. What up, Mooney? You're watching Mini Reads, and today I bring you a book tag. Kind of, sort of, yeah. Tag and this tag I saw floating around the beauty community, but I thought it was such a fun tag, especially because of the title, which is so misleading, so misleading. I decided to bring it to BookTube and change everything to book-related stuff because that's what we do here, BookTube. We do book-related stuff. And I know there's another tag that is kind of like it, which is my first and last tag, but this is just your first. Yeah, and we we're gonna discuss our firsts, mm -hmm. but not that kind of first because I don't know how comfortable I'd be discussing that on YouTube. So basically what I created is 12 questions related to your first of book things. After I created this, I realized that a lot of the books are gonna repeat themselves, so sorry about that. And I just heard my door, door and that was creepy, but let's just get into the tag, yeah? The first question is, what is the first book you remember reading on your own? This is... The original book and it's Animorphs by K.A. Applegate and this is number one and I've had this book since I was I believe nine years old. This is the first book I remember reading all on my own. And question number two is the first series you remember finishing and for that I picked Animorphs by K.A. Applegate and you're gonna see this book again I promise you. This series it has like 200 books in it and I have them all still all of them in fact, I have some of them twice. I don't know why. Question number three is, which is the first book-to-movie adaptation you remember watching knowing it was a book-to-movie adaptation? At first, I was going to pick The Lord of the Rings. Before that, I watched a movie of The Little Prince. I remember that it scared the bejeebas out of me as a child, and I was very scared of that book for a very long time. Number four is, what was your first book crush? My first book crush was Tobias from the Animorph series. I had such fun memories of Tobias and I, even though he's not real. Question number five is, who was your first bookish friend? My first bookish friend would have to be my friend Lucia. I've mentioned her before. She's the one that let me borrow Ender's game. And we met online role-playing because that's what we did. And then we met we we met at school. We're still pretty good friends and I love her. Uh, yeah, she was my first bookish friend and I still borrow books from her. Yay. Question number 6 is what is the first adult book you remember reading not for school? You guys are going to hate me for the state of this book. I assure you I bought it pretty much in the same state that it's in. And also, it's been traveling back and forth between countries a lot. This book is the first book, adult book I read. It's called Boy Born Free by Joy Adamson. And I love this book. I read it probably when I was like seven or eight. And I probably ended up reading it because it has pictures. Who doesn't want to read that when they're a kid? Actually, it was more like ten. I guess I was ten when I read it. But question number seven is, who was your first book character role model. My first role model was <laughs> Rachel from the Animorph series. I just loved her. She was so cool. She was fashionable and she did great in school and she was overall perfect but then she was also like really brave and she was Tobias's girlfriend. So basically I wanted to be Rachel for a really 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 long, long time. And if you've read Animorphs, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, Rachel was pretty awesome. Mm -hmm. Question number 8 is What's the first author that you were truly inspired by? And the first author I was inspired by would have to be Joy Adamson from Born Free. She basically raised a lion cub and then let her go to the wild like she was supposed to. And she was the person that first inspired me to become an animal rights activist. And I'm actually planning on getting another one of these because I'm not putting this on my shelf. I know, I know, cringeworthy, but I, I actually got this like this. Question number nine. What was the first book you remember truly touching you? I couldn't pick none other than Daniel's Story by Carol Matas about a Jewish little boy who gets put in a concentration camp. And... I, I, this book truly touched me, and if Born Free is the reason of why I'm a, I am an animal lover, Daniel's story is the reason why I'm a, I am a pacifist and a humanist. So, yeah, 
this book, I recommend it. If you haven't read it, it doesn't matter. It's a children's book. I think everyone should own one of these books. And again, this book is beat up because it's traveled from the US to Venezuela and back at least three times or four times. Well, now the first classic book you read, not for school. That would definitely have to be the Complete Works of Edgar Allan Poe. This was the first classic I read and it wasn't for school. I just picked it up and I thought, huh, I've heard of this guy. And then I saw that it was short stories and I was like, yeah. And that tells you a lot about the kind of child that I was, that I was reading Edgar Allan Poe at this age and about death and stuff. I was a pretty intense kid growing up. And this one will be kind of, I guess, easy for a lot of you, but not for me. The first YA book you remember truly finishing, to me, that is Uglies by Scott Westerfeld, which I read last year, this year. No, I read it this year. And I know that this is pretty, but um, I'm letting one of my good friends borrow Uglies, so I thought I would show this. I tried reading The Hunger Games, and I didn't finish that one. I tried reading Twilight, and I couldn't finish that. There was no way in this screener that I could finish Twilight. I got, I think I had 50 pages left in the first book and I was like done with it. But this one is the first one I finished and it's actually also the first YA series I finished. So uh, double whammy for you. Finally, the last question, question number 12 is the first ebook you've read. And you guys are not going to believe it, but today is the day I finished the first ebook I read and I have it here on my phone and that's Nelson Mandela saying hello to you but I'm gonna look for it for you so you can see which one it is In Time by Alexandra Bracken this is the first ebook that I've ever finished I love the Darkest Minds cover so far I'm not so sure about Never Faith but I really love the Darkest Minds and look at this cover wouldn't it be nice to have that? So that's it, guys. This is my first book tag. Well, you can't call it that, but my first time book tag. I'm going to tag all of you that are watching right now. If anyone wants to do it, I'll probably message a few people. If you are watching, then I tag you. You, that's right. You got to go do this tag. Unless you don't have a booktube channel, then you don't. But if you do, you have to. Anyway, <laughs> this has been really fun to do. It's been a little crazy, and yeah. I'm just gonna go before I keep talking crazy because I feel really crazy today and I feel really hyper. If you follow me on Twitter, you know that I had a 14 hour migraine yesterday and it sucked big time. And if you don't follow me on Twitter, you're welcome to. The link it is down below to where you can follow me on Twitter. And yeah, that's pretty much it for now, I think. I always misplace the remote for the camera. <laughs>